If you are like me, you are a fan of how to train your dragon. Okay there, bud. We're gonna take this nice and slow. Great, great, great animated show by DreamWorks. And on multiple levels, you know, the last one was really, 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 really near and dear to my heart. Just great, 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 great shows all around. Um, I loved every single one of them. I watched, I think, all of them in the theaters. I didn't miss a single one in the theaters. But like I said earlier, you either die a hero or you live long enough to become the villain. You either die a hero or you live long enough to see yourself become the villain. While How to Train Your Dragon live action 2025 might be a visual pleasure because I'm assuming the animations are going to be nice and good and the dragons are going to be really cool and cute. Obviously, Toothless and some of the other dragons are probably going to be awesome to look at. I feel like, one, it's something that didn't need to happen. It might be a, uh, a stain on the how to train your dragon legacy. And two, is anyone confident in the script? To be fair, it's probably going to be like a one-to-one -one retelling of the animation. So it's probably not going to be any new in, in any new things in terms of, like, say, writing or plot points or character development or anything like that. I'm sure it's going to be start, finish, this is how to train your dragon. Let's try to make some money off of it. But today, the trailer has been uh, released. Leave me a comment down below. How do you feel about How to Train Your Dragon live action? Are you excited for it? Do you want to see it? Do you want to just cast it off and never talk about it again? And you'll just go and watch the, uh, the animated movie anyways. When you cut in this axe, you cut it off. <laughs> Wait. Yeah, yeah, we know who he is. I mean, that's good casting. I can't kill dragons. But you will. I'm a Viking. Spartans. I'm a Viking. Aw. Doofus. Okay. I won't hurt you. Yeah, what a good scene. But yeah, definitely like even similar like angles, one to one, you know, sort of retelling. All right, and that's what we get. Okay, that was a trailer. It like wasn't really too much, but uh Jay Burkle Jay Burchell would have done better, not uh, Butler. Uh, who is that? Jay Baruchel. Oh, <laughs> come on, bro. <laughs> oh, if you don't know, that's the dude that played Hiccup, uh, voice acted Hiccup. <laughs> the very, uh, very, very, very iconic voice. And I'm serious. Yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. But like, I mean, I guess he does. He probably could have been made up to look like a young kid because he kind of looks youthful, right? But then we have the dad. That was definitely dad, a.k.a. Uh, Leonidas from 300. Spartans! What is your profession? Cool. Gerard, Gerard way. Gerard way. Yeah, yeah. Or we could have went the Gerard... <laughs> The, Ger the Gerard Way um, route have done uh, my chemical, uh, my chemical dragons. So, anyways, short little trailer, little sneak peek. Do I think it will be fine? Yeah, I think it'll be fine, but it won't be anything groundbreaking, or won't be anything new to give um, like a How to Train Your Dragon fan. So, like, obviously, lots of details in the animation. It all looks fine and well and nice. I'm sure it will look. Like, great, you see the pupils moving, all the texture in the skin. Would I have rathered, um, like, a new piece of How to Train Your Dragon story? Yeah, absolutely. Or, you know, anything. Anything more, anything new. Sort of push, you know, that envelope or anything forward. But, dude, perfect Kathleen for Toothless. Let's go. 41K likes. How comment. <clears throat> perfect Kathleen for Toothless. Nailed it, nailed it, nailed it, nailed it.